Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Nazimkus. In this episode I would like to share our third day in Antalya. The weather was a bit cloudy with some intermittent rain which still did not affect smiles on Turkish people's face. Continued wandering in the streets to experience more of Antalya's ambience, food and entertainment. The white Turkish flag could be seen on almost every street. The crescent is used in honor of the religious affiliations of its people, while the white star represents the diversity of Turkish culture. Turkish lamps are made entirely by hand. Mmm, and these Turkish desserts that can satisfy everyone's sweet tooth cravings. And without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> It's worth noting that Turkish ice cream is incredibly tasty, that we ate it every single day of our stay in this country. Today, with this gloomy weather in Antalya, I'm getting the impression as if I am walking on the streets of Seattle, city in Washington state. Because in Seattle, you usually see white squares right by the water and the weather is mostly cloudy. The Atatürk Monument and Republic Square are among Antalya's most famous landmarks. The monument and the square celebrate Atatürk's rise to power. It was created in 1964. Figures featured at the top include Atatürk mounted on a horse along with a boy and girl representing the country's young people. Republic Square is the city's main square and one of the most popular attractions. Another appealing thing is its proximity to the harbor, offering excellent views. Because the square is one of the city's most popular gathering places, you'll have a perfect chance of encountering live bands. A tram system forms part of the public transportation network in Antalya. Just look at this red vintage tram. Your journey by tram will cost around 3.5 to 4 Turkish Liras. Antalya sits on the Mediterranean coast and is the main gateway into the famous Turkish Riviera. You can find a number of different beaches here and sandy coastlines. Turkish Delight also known as lokum, is a sweet made from starch and sugar that forms a gel. It's usually sweetened with honey and comes in a variety of amazing flavors. My favorite one is pistachio. Seller Tanya was kind enough to explain different types of Turkish delight and let us try them. Без добавления сахара на меде, ручной работы, здесь нугат, миндаль и крем идет. Есть фисташка гранат. Я гранат очень вкусно просто. Очень вкусно. Yes, very nice. I'm gonna try the sweet with hazelnut. What is this green thing? Apple and nuts. Okay, so this sweet it has this outing like a layer outside of actual nuts here, so it's made of apple and the hazelnut is very fresh. I have noticed a few bitter orange trees in Antalya. The fruit of this tree is called turunch and it's not really edible unless it's processed. These trees grow in Antalya due to its Mediterranean climate. Since this is my first time in Turkey, now I totally understand why a lot of tourists do decide to come back here.
at night in Antalya, especially Calais Ichi, uh, part of the city which is old town, comes into life with a lot of people and live music. You may have noticed the statue in the center of Old Town. Atalus II Philadelphus is considered a founder of the modern-day Turkish city Antalya. Turkish coffee is a must-try when you visit Antalya. Turkish sand coffee is a cup of Turkish coffee which is brewed by using a pan filled with sand that's heated over an open flame. Cups left on the surface stay warm and the heat used for brewing can be adjusted by the depth of the coffee in the sand. Our long walk made us all hungry and we decided to try traditional Turkish food at this place called Kaleçe Kebapçısı. So I got what's called salad with some chicken because it's been uh, a few days that I've been eating something pretty heavy. So this is what I got today. Everyone else decided to go with Turkish cuisine. They enjoyed delicious kofte and doner. The restaurant had a nice terrace where you can watch nightlife in Antalya. After dinner we visited a spice shop. One of my favorite things about Antalya is stopping at these kind of spice shops sometimes just to admire. They also sell various kinds of teas and special tea blends. And especially the ceiling part is very nice. By the end of my third day in Turkey, I felt very lucky to be visiting such an incredible country, which offers awesome destinations to travelers. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. In the next episode, we will visit a family that lives on one of the Turkish mountains.